Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again. Recently I made a video on the Dremel 3000 and so far it's been incredible. Over a quarter of a million people have watched it and loads of you have been emailing me and sending me messages and you've been asking me should you go with a corded version like the 3000 or a cordless version? So I'm going to answer that question for you today because Today we're going to look at the Dremel Micro, which is one of the new cordless versions. So come and join me and let's take a look at the Dremel Micro. Follow me. So this is the Dremel 8050 cordless. Uh, you can see the packaging here. Really nice, attractive, full colour, glossy packaging. So this will really make a great gift for a crafty type person. So inside the box this is what we've got. We've got the Dremel itself, and that fits onto the stand and charging base. We've got the power adapter, in this case this is a UK power adapter, and that just plugs in the back of the charging unit. We've got the zip-up travel case for storing and transporting the Dremel. And we've also got a box of accessories to get you started, which I'll show you in a moment. Plug in the power adapter into the side of the base there, you'll see a little socket. Once you put your Dremel in, you'll notice these blue LEDs at the bottom which cycle from top to bottom and that means that it's charging. Dremel referred to this unit as a 3 hour 45 minute charger so presumably that's the time to take from blank to a full charge but when these LEDs stop cycling that's fully charged and this will vary depending on temperature and how much the batteries are used. When you turn the Dremel on pressing the blue power button at the front, an LED indicator lights up at the bottom and this is the battery level indicator. In normal use it's green, when it's amber that's less than 50%, 25% battery charge and it turns red and then when you see a red flashing that means that it's about to go any point so you need to charge it immediately. It's had a while to charge now and I can see that the blue LEDs have stopped flashing so I'll just take it out, switch on and I can see the green LED there so we're good to go. So let's take a closer look at it, see what it can do. The Dremel Micro is nice and compact, it's not too heavy and it's very comfortable in your hand, very manoeuvrable. At the end you have the two contacts, these are how it charges so you've got to make sure that these don't get covered in dirt or obstructed and these make contact when you drop it into the cradle and that's how it charges. You'll notice that there are also three slots in the unit, one at the back and one on each side. These are ventilation holes so again try not to obstruct those for extended periods because they help to keep it cool. Moving up at the other end you can see we've got the nice rubberized grip which is comfort and control and you've got two buttons on the end You've got the big blue power button, this is how you turn the unit on and off. So simple push button. The smaller black button is the spindle lock. So hold and press the spindle lock button and unscrew the nut. Insert your accessory. So I've just got a little brush here and then tighten up. Um, finger tight will do, you don't need to over tighten it and then release the button and make sure that your accessory actually rotates and then switch on the unit and we can see the LEDs there uh, and the tool rotating if you find that you can't fasten it by hand there is a small spanner and you can just pop the spanner over it and just press the key, the button and then just give it a tighten up but you don't need to over tighten it. Now this Dremel uses collets and it's very important that you understand what a collet is uh, because you might need some different ones. If you completely unscrew the black nut off the end you'll see the collet inside and it just pops out with your fingers and it's a little tube and it's like a chuck really it's got four jaws on it and as you tighten the nut around it you can see the collet closes uh, and that's what closes in, tightens and grabs your actual tool so you need to get these in different diameters 
Now the one that comes with it is 3.2 millimeters diameter and that's designed to work with the standard Dremel accessories but if you want to use other accessories on different size shanks or maybe you want to use drills and stuff like that then you've got two choices you can either buy different size collets from Dremel which just pop in as you've seen or you can buy a Dremel multi-chuck which is a kind of adjustable little chuck and again that just replaces the nut on the collet and screws in the end and it's only a couple of pounds so I'd really recommend that when you power on the unit it automatically comes on on half power so that's 15,000 rpm and you can see this on the blue LEDs you've got 5, 10, 15, 20 and 28,000 rpm so by default when you switch it on it comes on at 15,000 rpm if you want to increase the speed you can press the plus button and that will increase it to the next level each press one level vice versa if you want to reduce the speed press the minus button and that will reduce it one level important point to note you can't turn it off by reducing the speed you can only turn it off by pressing the on off button at the end and vice versa if you keep pressing it it won't get any faster than the maximum 28,000 each time you turn it off when you turn it back on again it will always come on at 15,000 rpm so it's important to note that it doesn't have a memory so if you're constantly working at a lower speed you will need to adjust it each time you activate the unit so let's take a look at these accessories there are 35 here but this is just a small selection from a huge range there's thousands of them so first of all we've got this orange grindstone and this is great for sharpening so any pen knives anything like that just run this along the edge at low speed and it's great for sharpening you can also use it on herb materials like glass and semi-precious stones likewise you've got a smaller one this is a smaller blue one again great for small areas get into inside of holes deburring inside of rings anything like that and again good for sharpening as well you've also got a couple of larger ones these brown discs and you'll notice these are unmounted so you need to use the mandrel for these so this is the one with the screw in the end so pop the screw out put it through the grindstone and just tighten it up just finger tight don't overdo it because you know you could damage it and these are great for grinding off tough materials working with metal plastic and again really great for sharpening so any tools that you want to use you can use the edge or you can use the top I use these a lot you've also got some larger discs and these aren't so much for grinding these are called cut-off discs again just pop the screw through pop them into the end of the mandrel finger tight and these are fantastic for screw heads removing nails cutting burr chain anything that's tough they are fragile and they can break so do use them slowly and gently you've also got some little sanding discs which use the same mandrel I've got some 180 and some slightly finer 240 grit and this is emery paper so this is good for metal so great for jewelry again just pop one onto the screw screw it onto the end of the mandrel and these are really great for getting rid of tool marks and scratches in soft metal jewelry things like that plastics really great tool that you've also got a polishing kit so what we've got here is you've got a black nylon brush you've got some different little felt polishing pads and you've got this little block which is rouge which is jewelers polish what we use for polishing gold and you've got a little screw mandrel this screws into the felt pads very gently don't overdo it otherwise you'll just tear it apart run it slowly and touch it to the polish so you get a coating of polish onto the felt and this is perfect for polishing gold and silver jewelry this is exactly what jewelers use just show you here I buy this stuff by the brick I go for a lot of it after you've finished just wash off the excess with some warm soapy water and your jewellery will look like new so really brilliant things those 
for awkward shapes and tight areas you can also use this little black nylon brush exactly the same just load it up with some of the rouge polish and then use that to get into awkward or concave areas really useful tool we've also got a round burr and this is really really good for engraving because you can hold it at a natural angle and because it's round tipped it cuts a u-shaped groove so this is great for engraving in wood plastic and soft metal and especially with the Dremel Micro here because it's small and it's easy to hold this is a perfect combination so this tool really is great for engraving by hand fantastic these strange little things are sanding drums and they're designed to slip onto this rubber mandrel here and the best way to do this is to insert it into the Dremel first and lock it in position using a small screwdriver just loosen the screw in the end and that will release the tension on the rubber slip your sanding drum over it and make sure that it's nicely aligned and then just tighten it up and as you tighten the screw it will expand the rubber and that will grip onto the sides of the sanding drum and these are great especially for wood for sanding and finishing and small areas you've got a couple of different grits so if you want to change them just unscrew it and change them over or better still get a couple of different mandrels then you can keep them set up with different grits lastly we've got this very unusual little device which is like a little top hat shape on the end of a mandrel and it's spring loaded this is the Dremel speed click system and this is a really fast way of changing accessories it's easier to do it if you pop it into your Dremel first so mount this into your Dremel tighten it up and what you'll find is the kind of yellow gold colour part is spring loaded and if you pull it back you can pop your accessory onto the end push it down and twist it 90 degrees it's a bit strange at first but once you get the hang of it it's quite easy and you can change accessories very very rapidly and so once you've got this speed click mandrel you can use lots and lots of different accessories that are designed for the speed click system here we've got two heavy duty cutting discs um, like with the brown ones you can use these for cutting burr nails screw heads and slightly tougher materials and these are a bit bigger and these are reinforced with looks like fiberglass so these are a lot tougher so really great cutting discs those so again this is just part of a very vast assortment so whatever you're interested in check it out and there's going to be a burr a grindstone or a polishing accessory that's suitable for you so check them out hi guys finally i just want to summarize a couple of quick points that might help you make a decision firstly is the size this is more compact and a lot more lightweight than the big corded versions so this I, I think makes it great for delicate intricate work like engraving and fine detail model making and jewelry it also makes it better for younger people or perhaps women with smaller hands because it's less weight but the slightly smaller size does mean that this is not compatible with these screw on accessories. Dremel make a few attachments that screw onto the end with the replaceable caps. So you've got things like the rotor attachment, the right handle attachment. You've got several handles that screw on the end. You can't use those with the Dremel Micro. So if you want to use those accessories, then maybe look at either larger corded ones or the full size cordless ones. But this is designed to be a much smaller, more delicate unit. Obviously, this is battery powered. You can't replace the batteries in this, so you do need to keep an eye on the LED at the bottom there, and when it tells you to charge it, pop it back on the charger. As long as you do that, you'll be absolutely fine, and it does give you ample warning. But what that does mean is that you've got that flexibility. You can take it outside, you can work on the drive, on the car, the motorcycle, up a set of ladders, anywhere where it's going to be difficult to get power to. So it does give you that incredible flexibility for working in areas where perhaps the corded ones are going to be more difficult. The corded ones are usually more powerful and 
Again, I like the fact that this runs at slightly slower speeds. So again, this is better for delicate work. And it's a lot more quieter, so great for using indoors in the kitchen or something. So there you go. I hope that helps. I think this is great for small, delicate work. I love the size. It's got a real great feel in your hand. And uh, yeah, I love it. The Dremel Micro. Check it out. I've been Dave Wilson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.